Memories of Murder, a movie which made us laugh, scared and sad at the same time. A cinematic masterpiece by Bong Joon-ho, which will never be forgotten in ages, so everyone, today we're here to decode the ending of Memories of Murder, where I'll explain every possible detail in the ending, through which you can understand the movie much more, understand it much deeply, so, let's start today's video. So, when Detective Cho sees the corpse of the little girl, he gets extremely sad and depressed, as he felt a lot guilt about it, because he could have saved the girl, if he had just worked more strictly, but sadly he couldn't. And by doing this he is just trying to do one good thing possible, as he had completely failed to save her, and his failure, sadness and depression is represented here via such dark atmosphere and rain. Then he directly goes to the suspect and drags him out, beat him up, as he just can't control his anger now, after such failure of him, and he puts handcuffs in suspect's hands and waits for Detective Park to arrive with the documents, and here, the documents are symbolized as hope, hope of the detective, hope for justice, hope for truth, hope for finally ending all this. Then the local detective arrives with the documents, and as he opens and reads the documents, he found out that the suspect is not the killer. And he was too stunned to say anything, and he refuses to believe the documents, and if you might have noticed then, in the whole movie, he kept saying that the documents doesn't lie, but in the end as he really felt, the real bitterness of the truth, he refused to believe in it, and still tried to kill the suspect, as he just can't live his life, Knowing that he literally wasn't able to do anything in this case, he just can't let this fact go beneath his chest, he's that heartbroken right now. And he started saying that the document is a lie, but actually it wasn't, and Detective Park tried to identify the suspect as the killer, with his skill he had used throughout the movie, but even he also failed, and realized that he can't identify killers just by taking a look at them. So, did you notice something? If you've noticed then both the detectives throughout the movie strongly believed at their skills and beliefs, but in the end, when they tasted the bitterness of it, they realized how wrong and serious it was. And here's a deep detail, when Detective Park is looking at the eyes of the suspect, he's directly looking at the camera, even the suspect is directly looking the camera, which tells two things, first, that when the detective is looking straight at the camera, He's looking to all the audience, all the common people, and as everyone looks pretty much ordinary, same goes to the killer who also looks very ordinary like everyone else, and that's how the detective is not able to identify him as the killer and second, when suspect looks at the camera, it means that us the audience with the detective are looking at the eyes of the suspect to find if he's the killer then, but we couldn't. And he tells the suspect to go away and after that for a brief moment, the suspect breaks a little bit, which proves that he's not the killer because, the killer who has done so many murders, rapes. For him a torture like this shouldn't be a big thing, but the suspect breaks a little bit, which definitely proves he's not the killer. And a train comes, and he pushes the suspect the other side of train, and himself and detective Cho the other side, which represents their different pathways now. As the detectives from now are on a different route, and the suspect is in a different one. And the train isn't just crushing the document, it is crushing the hope of the detective, but Detective Cho goes to kill him anyways, but he couldn't. And Detective Park manages to convince him to let the suspect go. And the suspect goes in the darkness and disappears, which represents the disappearance of the identity of the killer as well. And the darkness also represents nature of the killer, and, as the detectives are on the brighter side, it represents their nature, and the darkness also represents that, they literally have very less evidences to find the killer, and how far they're from him. And finding him in the darkness without any conclusive evidence, is just like trying to find a needle in grass. And as the detectives are little inside the tunnel, it represents their progress in case throughout the whole film. And after this the movie time jumps, and we see retired Detective Park again in the same spot where the movie began, and this whole sequence represents the title of the movie, Memories of Murder. As his memories of the murders which happened in the past, again led him here. And then he finds a little girl in the same spot, which also tells that how vast is our world, and the killer has enormous options around him, then the girl tells that a man was also here yesterday in the same spot, checking things, which proves one point of the movie, 
that the killers always come back to the crime scene. Then Park asks the girl about how he looks, and the girl replied ordinary, then Park looks at the camera to us, ordinary people and notices that the difference between killers and normal people is not much, they are also humans, and don't have a specific mark or something, through which you can identify them, and God knows, how many bad people might have been walked in front of us, and we didn't even have noticed it. And except this there's one more meaning this scene conveyed which was a direct message to the killer by the director Bong Joon-ho. As Park looks at the camera it means that no matter wherever you are, there will always be someone looking for you, and he was right, as the killer got caught some years before. So everyone, this deep is the ending of Memories of Murder, you can't help but will appreciate it every time you hear the name, Memories of Murder. Massive respect to Bong Joon-ho for creating such a cinematic masterpiece. Anyways, that's it for today's video everyone, I hope you've enjoyed it and understood everything, if yes, then make sure to let me know, I'll meet you in my next video, till then goodbye.